So I saw a lot of people asking for a tutorial on how I managed to run Unity on my PS Vita. And I saw a lot of the same people also asking me if it was using PlayStation Mobile Development System for Unity. No, it's not. It's actually running natively on the Vita. So that's good and bad because and it's bad because, well, we don't have PlayStation Mobile Homebrew yet. But it's good because, well, we don't have to go through PlayStation Mobile to run Unity. So, yeah. It, yeah, so basically, what I had was actually a .vpk of an actual Unity game running um, my own custom Unity crap. And the way I did that was because I recently yeeked yes, Unity for PS Vita from SIE DevNet, and um, if you combine that with the yeeked SDK and some software I wrote, you can actually pack a Unity game into a .vpk and have it run on a Henkaku-enabled PS Vita. In the description will be a paste bin. In that paste bin, you'll see a bunch of Unity builds. You want to choose any Unity build that is for SDK 3.550. You need to use 3.550 because that is the only Vita SDK that has been leaked. So once you choose whatever version you want, just download every single file related to it. There should be four of them. Um, and be sure to install them as well once they're done. Fair warning, the Unity Download Manager can take a long time to down to finish installing, like, like, legit, it takes forever, like, it took me, like, two hours, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, the Unity Download Manager takes a while, the actual Unity Setup.exe, that's a bit quicker, and the PlayStation Video Integration is, like, pretty much instant, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, the Unity Download Manager takes a while to finish installing all stuff, but you need everything installed for Unity to work. So, um, while we're doing that install, you should really download the PS Vita 3.550 SDK. So to do that, go to the link in the description, and it will take you to a Google Drive page, much like the one I'm on right now. And um, basically, you'll want to go in, and you'll want to click Download, and then wait for that to download. And, um, yeah. So, go do that. You need to download TM Server and Connection Tools. So there's a link in the description to that. It's a .zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract and install everything. Finally, download and install publishing tools or MSI. Again, link is in the description. The SDK finishes downloading. Extract it anywhere you want. It's extracted. Go right click on this PC and go Properties. Let this window will come up. We want to go to Advanced System Settings, and then to Environment Variables, and go Add. And the name is on the paste bin. If you scroll down towards the bottom, underneath Installation Guide, it's called SCE PSP2 SDK. Though you want to browse to a directory, and you want to choose the folder where your SDK is located, like so is SCE root though. If you already installed the publishing tools, chances are is already here. If it hasn't, just add it anyway. The path and the name is in the S is in the paste bin. Set up Unity as usual by signing into your Unity account and clicking sign in. However, once you reach the license screen, just grab the license from the paste bin and copy and paste its key into a Unity and click next. This will activate it. And then when I ask you to retrieve it, there's a survey you can fill out if you want, but I just, I just skipped it. So say you make a game in Unity and you want to export it to the Vita. Well, that's actually really easy to do thanks to a little piece of software made called Unity Tools. Link is in the description, you just download it, put it somewhere and yeah, it'll basically just work. So, yeah, so basically what first thing you want to do is you want to go into Unity and go File, Build Settings. And then you're going to want to go PS Vita and switch to the platform. And then you want to go to build type PC hosted. 
and you want to uncheck everything. So, no, so don't no explicit null checks. Do not make a development build and do not compress the PS arc. So like this, it needs to look like this. Okay, and then just click build. And then choose a choose somewhere to put it. So I'm just gonna put mine on the desktop. If I can access it. I'm gonna put mine on the desktop. I'm going to call it to I'm gonna call it test game one. Just because it's this test. So once you've built that, you wanna find where your tet where your um your built project is. And it's just really simple. You wanna take your built project. You want to drag and drop it onto Unity Tools, like this. And then, the command will pop up. You'll see some things go, you'll see some text on screen. And it will begin packing into a .vpk file for you. You can see here, I've got right here, testgame1.vpk. It's packing, it's, it's um, packaging all the files into a VPK right now. So let's wait for that to finish. And there you go. You can run this on your um you could run this test game one dot VPK on your PS Vito and it would run the game just fine. So that is how you run Unity games on your PS Vito. Bit of a young tutorial, but a lot of people wanted to see how it's done. So yeah, that's that's how you do it. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.